Welcome to Win With Barlow, the podcast where we turn your entrepreneurial dreams into reality. With your host, Akira Barlow. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of DNA testing businesses. Looking to maintain momentum or ready to scale? This series is your guide to success. Let's get started. Hey family, and welcome back to another audio learning lesson. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Hey family, hey cousin. So I think this is episode number 34. I'm pretty sure that it is. And today you can already tell what we are talking about today. We are talking about the pros and cons of starting your own DNA testing agency in 2024. So before we get into it, go ahead and like this video for Kitchen This on YouTube. Go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Welcome to our family over here where we don't gatekeep, okay? Where we talk about just being the best versions of ourselves. And right now we are focusing on DNA testing because that's what I'm on right now, okay? So I appreciate all of the love. Y'all have been showing me so much love. I've been trying to take a break here and there just so it doesn't like overwhelm me but for the most part this has been a great great thing and i'm just so grateful to have met so many of you i'm enjoying all of our private conversations thanks so much for all of the encouraging emails and dms unfortunately i cannot get back to everybody because your girl is in these streets i'm out here working for real okay so i'm just <laughs> super grateful for all of you if you are going through a hard time and I want to say this because I've been getting a lot of messages from people who've just been telling me like, girl, look, because in life is life and I don't know whether I'm going or whether I'm coming. Let me tell you something. I totally understand being right there in your shoes. My advice to you is to just keep your head down and focus on what you need to focus on. Things that you cannot change. Look, cousin, don't pay any attention. Give it over to God and just keep it moving. All right. So let's get into our episode today. Um, the pros and cons of DNA testing. All right. Now we are, like I said, I think this is episode 34. So if you haven't caught all the other ones, go back and catch up and then come back to this one because it's important that you know the ins and outs of this whole DNA testing thing. And I've pretty much laid all of it out, like on all of the other episodes. I think, I think I've done a good job of doing so. So check those out. And then come back to this episode to find out the actual pros and cons. But for my cousins who are up to speed, let's talk about it. All right. Let's talk about it. Now, I've been hearing a lot of people saying, like, Kira, look, because I started my business. Things are moving a little slow. I don't know. I just don't know if this is for me or not. And I, I feel you. I understand. And I want to say this. Y'all, with anything new, it's going to take time to establish, um, even in, you know, the most busiest places, you know, things still take time to develop. So don't be discouraged if you're not getting immediate attention or immediate sales, because remember, this is DNA. This is something very serious, which is also one of my cons. So let's talk about it. <laughs> let's get into the cons first, because the pros, we, we can just fly through those. But let's talk about the cons first. My very first con, I would say, with starting your own private DNA testing agency is that the fact is the fact, can't talk today, forgive me, is the fact that you have to establish credibility and you have to establish awareness. Now, this is not like a hair salon, a boutique. This is not like doing lashes. This is none of that, all right? And because it's none of that, there is no immediate immediate sales like you can't just record yourself doing a dna test and just put it out there to the world and say hey this is what we do it's kind of a little bit different right and because this is a service that's life-changing that affects other people people are very kind of skeptical about allowing someone access to, to their dna all of that is kind of like a con to this business because you are spending a lot of time, especially when you first get started, establishing just awareness, letting people know that you are a legitimate business, letting people know that the business is available, you know, in your city, in your state. That may take some money and that may take some time. Let's just be real. I know I spend a hell of a lot on marketing, but at first, of course, it wasn't like that. I really wanted to focus on the things that would bring us the most volume at once. And so I immediately went into radio advertisement. I immediately went into billboard advertisement. Now I know 
you listen to this like girl look i'm barely making ends meet i can't do all of the cure because <laughs> i understand and so if that's the case then you need to establish your awareness and establish credibility for your brand in as many free ways as possible so whether that's cold calling passing out flyers showing them to events going on event bright trying to see what the chamber of commerce and everybody else got going on in the entrepreneurial space in your city all of that all right so that's one of my cons actually establishing awareness and actually establishing that credibility because people do have to you know trust you in order to allow you to do the service for them which is why i tell you guys all the time it doesn't matter if you're going to start this next week it doesn't matter if you're going to start this in two or three months go ahead and start building your online presence and building your online awareness about your business so that people can say okay they've been you know i looked them up i see their page the page has been active for you know a few months it's been active for a year go ahead and start you know just building it out so establishing awareness and credibility takes some time and it takes money so that my friend is a con to me all right the second con i would say is having to wait on somebody else man Ooh. <laughs> as an entrepreneur especially me like i'm a solo dolo kind of girl i'm think i think y'all know that i like to be to myself i like to work by myself always been this way baby when we had to do group projects in school i'm like oh hey, no <laughs> i want to do it by myself this is kind of me and so transitioning to a business like this where you're having to wait on someone else to make an emotional decision you know, uh, a decision that could affect their entire lives, their well-being, like all of that goes into the fact that you have to wait on somebody else to get this service. It's not like I can cut your hair or I can do your hair or I can sell you an outfit or I can come to your lashes or I can do your nails or, you know, I can put up this Airbnb and let y'all come, you know, give me some money to stay in it every night. This is more of an emotional kind of decision. And so because of that, people are weighing their options. They're calling you to get information. They're calling other people to get information. They're saving money. They're having arguments with people. They have a lot on their minds when it comes to deciding whether they want to go through with a DNA test. And sometimes one party is ready to go when the other party is like, we don't want to do it. I, 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 I don't care who paid. I'm not showing up. So having to actually base my money on someone else's emotional decision is a lot for me. <laughs> it's a lot for me. I'm going to just say it's a con because it definitely is. It's not... You know, a DNA test can make or break a family. It can make or break a lot of relationships. So it's not something that people are just driving down the street, you know, picking up, putting in a car. It's not one of those kind of businesses. So having to wait on somebody else is really tough for me. Now, my last con, um, I would say, is slow seasons. Um, just like any other business, I think that DNA testing has its peaks. I think that it has, you know, it's seasons where people are just not calling or not buying as many tests, no matter how much marketing you're putting out, no matter, you know, where you're showing up to. Sometimes it's just one of those seasons where it's just not booming right now. And so in those seasons, it's like, okay, how am I going to pivot? What other service can we focus on? What other service can we, you know, really push right now? Um, is there anybody else that we can partner with to increase our sales? It kind of makes you go into not a panic mode, but just a business kind of survivor mode. Like, hey, this isn't working right now. So this is what we're going to have to do. And as a ball shaw, as a CEO, you're going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Be ready to make decisions and be ready to pivot in seasons where you need to. And so that is where we focus a lot on a lot of our other services. So drug testing, of course. Um, Y'all know it's not my favorite service to offer, but it's a lucrative service to office, offer in my area. Um, also, fingerprinting, um, that has been something that we have been able to implement and we get a decent amount of requests for the service each week. Um, I am a phlebotomist, so we do blood work services for people and that also has been a plus. So I think even though the con would be that there are slow seasons, I think the flip side of that is the boss and as a CEO is just by filling the gap. And we fill the gap by just making sure that we're able to offer other things and not just that one service, which is DNA testing. And so on a good day, you know, the goal, of course, is to be able to offer, you know, a couple of our other services along with our DNA testing services. So 
just getting those numbers up and just keeping those numbers at least a minimum of thousand dollars a day is good for business for me so yes there are slow seasons yes there are peak seasons holiday seasons are great for dna testing then it kind of trickles off again probably pick up a little after easter and then in the summertime it could be a little dry but if you are ready to you know market properly if you supplement some other services in your brand you should be able to make it work as a business so those are my three cons for starting <laughs> dna testing agency in 2024 all right so let's talk about the pros of course you know i got a lot of good things to say but i'm gonna keep it very minimal all right the first thing that i love about this business of course is the flexibility i love the fact that i'm able to book appointments at my discretion i love the fact that i'm able to you know block my weekends off if i need to or block my weekdays off i just love the flexibility of it i'm able to schedule people based on when i'm free so that is a major plus to me being a serial entrepreneur and just getting my hands you know into a whole lot of other industries that is definitely something that makes this business work for me i also love it because i don't have to have social media presence you know if i want to run my brand and you know post you know content for my business they don't necessarily have to see me and they don't have to necessarily you know see me performing actual tests or doing anything special i love that about this business as long as i'm posting educational content i'm showing up when i need to i know the business is going to do well so i don't have to physically be online and i love that because the introvertedness <laughs> within my soul baby listen to me i would do i would get ghost in a second okay in a heartbeat baby i have literally been off social media prior to me coming online for like four or five years and it was the best piece of my life and since recently coming back i just missed that piece so being able to run a business without having to be the face of it or without having to show up personally man oh my god it's a major plus for me the next pro I think for this would be you don't have to manage any major inventory and you don't have to worry about packing orders and you know all the things that come with inventory holding okay love it i don't need a warehouse i don't need a whole bunch of shipping labels you know what i'm saying i'm just going in handling my business sending it off to a lab and giving somebody the results like you really cannot beat that as a business as a side hustle you know as somebody that needs some money <laughs> give me my money okay like you, you just can't beat it. So the no inventory thing is a major pro, a major plus for me. Now, don't y'all boutique girls come for me, okay? I'm just saying. It's just, <laughs> this is just a business that I love because I don't have to deal with all of that. Kudos to y'all, though, because y'all, baby, be handling those drops very well. Um, I think my next pro would be, it would be the minimal follow-up. Again, the introvertedness within my soul <laughs> loves the fact that this doesn't require a whole lot like i don't have to follow up with people a whole whole lot and I, and I say a whole whole lot like i'm still checking in you know to make sure you receive your results if you need to retest somebody again something like that but for the most part it's not like a real estate transaction where i gotta talk to you all the time and i gotta see you in person i gotta take you here and then i gotta email you again and i gotta call you back like it's none of that so i love the fact that we can just decide on a date decide on a location and we can get this thing done if it doesn't go in your favor i can follow up real quick and we can knock it out again if necessary but the minimal follow-up is a huge plus for me i don't know about you but for me it's like wham bam thank you ma'am see you later <laughs> and lastly i would say the control um i've had several businesses in the past several several i mean 10 plus businesses okay so with this business i'm able to kind of manage my own level of control and when i say control it's like I can make this as big as I want it. I can make it as small as I want it. There are some months where I want to go hard, 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 and we work our butts off. And then there's some months where I'm like, hey, let's just keep it simple. We'll just do whoever calls in it, right? I love having that control in my brand and with my business because it allows me to handle burnout, number one. Um, I'm an overachiever. Y'all know that already, too. <laughs> so sometimes I can go a little too hard. And just being able to have their flexibility with this business to be able to turn it on and turn it off. I like that. In the summer times, I kind of go a little ghost with the business a little bit 
just because it's a time for me to be able to really kick it with my family. And I kind of focus more on my collectors doing the actual service in the city and states that they reside so that I'm able to make money. But I just love that. I can kind of go hard when I want to and I can turn it down when I want to. Like, I love that control of this whole thing. So those are my top five pros. And I would say my top three cons. Yep. That's what I would say. So for those of you who are, who are just getting started, getting your feet wet, you taking the course, tell me what do you think some pros of this business is in the comments, especially if you're catching this on YouTube. Let me know what you think some of the cons would be um, of the, you know actually doing this or maybe some things you're running into that I did not mention. Let me know in the comments below. But definitely, I want to encourage everyone, if you have a hustler mentality, if you are really determined to change your future, if you're looking for a business to do with your family, if you're looking for something to do with your best friend or something, I think that this thing is really a go. I'm not saying it because I'm you know, in this space right now, but I'm just saying in general, I think it's a great business to get into, especially if you are serious about you know, making some money and really showing up. You can definitely do this. So hope this episode was enjoyable. Um, I'll see you guys in episode number 35. I think it is. Hope you guys are well. Let me know how y'all doing. Let's check in mentally. Y'all okay? Y'all good out there? All right. All right. See you in the next episode.